Alright, so boring holes. My frustration is I have to move this all the way forward, undo this, bring it all the way to the front, and then start drilling it. And I have to measure because there's no DRO on this tool. Okay, so I wanted to make a tool that could go here that could do the boring operation. Um, and it'd be nice if it could do OD turning and facing, and um, obviously the boring would include enter diameter um, turning also. Um, so essentially, this tool was pretty close, and I'd seen someone else show off a tool that could do boring as well. Um, so the trick is to feed it in slowly and then run it out. You can't run right in and um, start doing your um, boring facing operation. Um, you have to kind of run in, face it, and then come out, run in, but you're slowly running in um, right there at the last second. So I took this tool and I modified it a little bit. I took a little bit off the back side, a little off the bottom side, a little off the front side, um, and just a hair off here basically this bit is coming out more and taking off a little bit here makes it so that I can bore uh, smaller holes but they have to be shallow you have to measure from the tip of here to the back of here and that's going to tell you roughly what your um, smallest hole you can bore with this tool um, so I did that I was able to do this boring operation with facing just with the tool here and I was honestly uh, able to take a lot at a time it wasn't like I had to hair it off so that was nice so the only difference is when you come out here to do this OD facing you reverse your spindle and come from the back side of the work and that's the only difference